uh, if we have a galvanometer and we want to measure current using the galvanometer then the galvanometer has to mo be modified to make it into an ammeter let's observe the scenario let's say i have a resistance here we call it a load small resistance and before connecting the galvanometer earlier some current was flowing i wanted to introduce a galvanometer to measure the current flowing through that load now this galvanometer will basically be a coil coil means it will have some resistance so while i am introducing this galvanometer in series i have to introduce it in series with the load so that same current passes through the passes through the galvanometer and the load and i can understand what current passes through the load by reading it on the galvanometer so i have introduced this galvanometer in series but i have introduced a coil in short galvanometer means it's a coil i have introduced it coil means it will have some resistance so i have introduced some new resistance in the circuit that could affect the current it could decrease the current and the working of our load could be less efficient if it's a bulb it could grow glow less brightly i get or not now please observe in short resistance of a galvanometer coil should be as low as possible resistance of an ideal ammeter should be zero now let's say this is our galvanometer coil galvanometer how can i decrease its resistance if i connect another resistance in parallel with it when you connect two resistance in parallel overall resistance decreases so in short if i have a galvanometer coil and i want to convert it into an ammeter i have if i have a galvanometer and if i want to convert it into an ammeter i have to connect another low resistance in parallel with it that low resistance is called shunt resistance okay because it is connected in parallel it's called shunt resistance let's see how we can find the value of this shunt resistance let's say total current to be measured is i i flows part of the current i flows through the shunt let's call it i subscript s and part of the current flows through the galvanometer coil let's call it as i subscript g i subscript g will be the maximum current which can pass through the galvanometer without damaging the coil it's also called full scale deflection current means when this current flows the galvanometer pointer needle will deviate through the entire scale but i might want to measure currents larger than that i will be a value probably larger than that how i can measure i what provision could i do please observe firstly by kirchhoff set first law at this junction currents coming equal to currents leaving or i equal to ig plus is so is equal to i minus ig any problem so far next both of these are in parallel pd across g the galvanometer coil equal to pd across shunt by ohms law pd is ir pd across g will be ig into g g is the resistance of the galvanometer coil pd across the shunt will be is into s is i had got an expression out here i minus ig i'll substitute that and arrange for s so ig upon i minus ig into g equal to the shunt now please observe a particular galvanometer will have ig fixed means i have a galvanometer ready full scale deflection current is say 3 amperes fixed resistance of the galvanometer is fixed say 10 ohm if i want to measure 20 amperes just put here 20 calculate the shunt required connect it in parallel with the galvanometer coil if i want to measure 50 amperes just connect uh, substitute 50 amperes calculate this will be 3 amperes this will be 10 ohm as earlier calculate the new value of shunt connect it in parallel with the galvanometer coil your galvanometer becomes an ammeter for measuring that value of current are you understanding me there are in short three functions of the shunt please see the functions of the shunt resistance first is it decreases the overall resistance of the galvanometer secondly if i want to measure larger and larger values of current i could just substitute those values here get the possible value get the value of shunt and connect it in parallel and make the galvanometer suitable for measuring that current means i can increase the range of currents which could be measured using a particular galvanometer by connecting a shunt second function third function of shunt is if by chance by mistake inadvertently a large current flows if shunt were absent all of it would have flowed through the galvanometer coil and the coil could have got damaged now shunt is there if shunt is there if excessive current comes part of it will flow through the shunt and galvanometer coil may be protected from damage due to passage of excessive current these are the functions of the shunt please observe situation is something like this we have a galvanometer coil of the galvanometer has a resistance of 12 ohm and we want to convert the galvanometer into an ammeter capable of measuring 7.5 amperes galvanometer by itself by itself without any modification can maximum allow 2.5 milliamperes of current to pass through it are you understanding me 
this current when passed through the galvanometer will not damage the coil at the same time it will deflect the needle to the complete scale so it's also called full scale deflection current and it is 2.5 milli ampere you can see this is 2.5 milli amperes current actually to be measured is 7.5 amperes close to 3000 times the maximum current which ordinarily flows current to be measured is 3000 times much more than what ordinarily can maximum pass through a galvanometer to convert a galvanometer into an ammeter we have to connect a low resistance in parallel with the galvanometer coil. This low resistance connected in parallel with the galvanometer coil is called shunt. Formula for shunt is Ig upon I minus Ig into capital G. Resistance of galvanometer is 12 ohm. Maximum current or full scale deflection current which ordinarily can pass through it without any modification is 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 and current to be measured is 1.5 amperes. I substitute, we calculate, we get shunt as 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 ohm means this resistance of 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 ohm should be connected in parallel with the galvanometer coil to convert that galvanometer capable of, convert the galvanometer into an emitter capable of measuring 7.5 amperes if we wanted to convert that meter galvanometer into an emitter capable of measuring some other current maybe still larger value then shunt will accordingly change you understand me Okay, please, uh, our concluding sentence should be, therefore, the galvanometer can be converted into an ammeter capable of measuring 7.5 amperes by connecting a shunt of 4 into 10 raised to minus 3 ohm in parallel with the galvanometer coil.